Hi, my name is Chris Palmer. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to round over an edge using a handheld router. Rounded edges on your work is a really nice detail, both visually and to the touch. You can do that with a handheld router with a guide bit. And uh, there's a lot of different sizes you can choose from and different depths uh, that you can set it at. To round over those edges, the first thing you want to do is, is mount your bit in the router. Router bits come in quarter inch shank and also half inch shank. So you need to match the shank of the bit with the collet that's on your router. This model does not have the option of a half inch collet, but a lot of bigger routers you can put either a quarter or half inch call it on there and use either type of bit. You slide the bit right in there until it stops and then come back about a sixteenth so there's a little clearance on the end. A lot of routers use a two wrench system. This router uses a spindle stop and a one wrench system. So I depress the spindle stop to stop the blade from turning, uh, get it finger tight, and then with my wrench, I snug it up nice and firmly, securely. Now you want to set the depth of your cut. So you slide the motor in this housing, and whatever you have exposed here is what you're going to get cut. Now you have the option of having this square edge on the top of your roundover. Today I just want no, I just want a pure roundover. So I'm going to set the router depth so that square edge is not going to contact my work. I lock it in place. It's nice and secure. And now what I'm going to be doing is running this guide bearing bit along the edge of my work. And to do that, I'll be holding the router just like, just like this and pushing it through the work. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Palmer. That's how you round over an edge with the handheld router.